Ok, hello, hello. Hello, teacher. Hi, Gustavo. How is it Quería going? Quería con usted, teacher. ¿Cómo está? ¿Qué pasó, Gustavo? How is Ayer, it going? A conectarme iba, me conecté y me llamaron de gerencia. Really? Sí, por eso no, no, no. Lo dejé conectado, dejé la computadora yes. encendida. Uh -huh. Y no, no, no. Todos los comenté que le dijeran que me habían, me habían llamado. Pero, yes. Pero sí, lo, disculpas en el caso. Ok, don't worry. Thank you so much for letting me know. Thank you. Hi, Jorge. Hello, teacher. Hello. How is it going? <coughs> ¿Cómo está? Hoy terminamos. Yes, today is the last day. How do you feel because of that? Hoy es el, oh. el, el último. Hoy es Gustavo. Yes, today is the last day. <laughs> Creo que no empezamos el 11. Not really. El 11 iniciamos, empezamos. iniciamos. Let me go back. Quiero ver, reviso ahorita. No, hoy, hoy se termina. Ya es la clase número 16. Let me see. When was the first day? It was on November, yes, 11th. October, mm -hmm. on October 11th, no. Mm -hmm. yes. Sí, yes, right. Mm -hmm. Sí, esta es la cuarta semana. Okay, I was checking the platform. And yes, I can see that you already complete all the exercises from section number five and also from the final exam. Solo hay creo que dos chicas que me hacen falta que completen la, el final exam, you know? But um, as I mentioned before, well, yesterday actually, we were going to have a practice. I'm speaking practice and we were also going to check um, section number five, final exam. Bueno, vamos a esperar un ratito a las compañeras y ayer creo que también Jorge, ¿verdad? Me dijo, tuvo que moverse, Jorge, al final de la clase, right? You had to. No, yo fue un día tareado, dicho. Ah, uh, I can imagine. Really? ¿Y ahora cómo ha estado? How is your day going right now? Ya, yes, en la mañana resolvimos. <laughs> okay. You know, same here. There are some days in which, you know, I just have a lot of work to do. Me toca también. Very busy days. Y aquí son dos oficinas en Salvador y Guatemala. Wow. Imagine. Okay. Y hubo problema en Guatemala. Really? So, you need to take care. Si tienen problemas en Guatemala, ustedes resuelven. O no tienen like an office or people there in Guatemala. No, yo, sí, you pero do. soporte desde aquí. Wow. Imagine. Okay, I can see Samuel. Hi, Samuel. Ya llegó Samuel. <laughs> How are Hi. you? How is it going, Samuel? ¿Cómo le va Samuel ahora? Fine. Fine, okay, excellent. Now we already have Carlos. Hi, Carlos. I see you in a different place today, Carlos. Where are you today? Hello, Miss. Hi. Yeah, here the office. Really, it's the office. Is so it, it's... It's the, um, uh -huh. um, how do you say salon? Room. 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 Yes. Multiple room. Ah, because really? Because we have. Uh, you can have um, meetings and all of that stuff. Employees take the lunch, okay. watch TV, um, party. Okay, even parties. But you, <laughs> you're taking classes from there. Excellent. I'm training. Carlos is in holiday today. Really? Ah, okay. Yeah. Holiday in is that? Okay. <laughs> Interesting. Being classy. Um, Teníamos esto ayer. This was the last activity, but we didn't have time to finish. No? Y quiero concluir con ese tema ahora. To finish right now. El uso de be going to and also the use of um, will. Remember, these are auxiliaries. Esos dos son 
auxiliares para expresar el futuro. El going to and also will. ¿Por qué son auxiliares? Porque luego de going to necesito un verbo. After will, I am going to place a verb. Por eso es que los consideramos auxiliares. Eh, ambos reflejan el futuro, ¿ok? And uh, as you may remember, whenever we are not sure about what is going to happen in the future, we can use expressions like this one. I'm not sure. Y cuando son expresiones como estas, I'm not sure, no estoy seguro, yo creo. Remember, we are going to use will. Cuando son planes muy seguros, previamente planificados, right? Vamos a usar a going to. And I was making this emphasis in the pronunciation. Will, or in this case, I will, the I'll. short form, I'll. I'll. Tenemos otra por ahí. I would. It's going to be I'll. Either. Mm -hmm. I'll. I'll. Y quiero que me, presen, me preguntaban de otra información o otra pronunciación, I guess. No, creo que era la última. So this is what we were going to do to practice structures, but in a different context, right? In this case, it is a conversation between Nora and Lily. What are they talking about? They are talking about the plans or the activities that probably they are going to do or probably they will do because they are going to have two weeks off. Maybe two weeks of vacation, right? Vacation time. So we don't know what they really are going to do. So this is like part of the conversation that they were having, you know? No tenemos así un actual listening para esta parte, pero sí podemos leerlo, okay? So let me have some volunteers because we are going to practice with Nora and Lily's dialogue okay vamos a practicar ahorita and let's see let's do it with the first one con los que llegaron primero a clase so let me see gustavo and jorge gustavo is going to read nora's part and jorge please go ahead and read lily okay go <clears throat> I am so excited. We have two weeks off. What are you going to do? Yes. I'm not sure. I guess I'll just stay home. Yeah. Maybe I'll um out with some friends and watch my favorite series. What about you? Any plans? Yeah. I'm going to relax at the beach with why my cousin. We're going to go surfing every day. I my cousin likes to snorkel, so maybe we'll go snorkeling one day. Sounds like fun. Hey. We, we don't you can with you. Why? Do you mean Why it? don't you? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> don't worry, you can repeat Gustavo. Once again, please. A why don't a why don't you come with you? Do you mean it? I love to I bring my surfboard. Search board. Yes. That's great. The more the merrier. The more the merrier. Excellent. Okay, just let me underline this one. Hang. Ese es el hang verb. Out. Hang. Hang out. Hang out. Unimos los dos sonidos, okay? We are going to link. Hang out. Hang out. What is the synonym for this one? Hang out. What is that? 
maybe I'll hang out with some friends. What is this? Hang out. For example, today is Friday and at night, maybe I will hang out with some friends. ¿Qué sería eso entonces? Hang out. Synonyms, who knows about the meaning of this one? Alguna idea, what is the meaning of this verb? But in this case, the combination of hang and out. What is hang out? It is like, yes, Gustavo, no. do you have an que idea? Sal, que saldrá. Okay, probably going out with some friends, having fun, or spending time. Hang out. Así que, ¿cómo lo pronunciamos? Hang out. Hang out. Okay, and this is with, with, one more time, with my cousin, with. Y acá, miren, igual, tenemos la palabra with, and after that we have us. So we are going to link these two sounds, with us. With us. Hey, why don't you come with us? With us. Okay, and that's it. Great job. So why don't you come with us? And that's it, right. Let me have the two last volunteers. I already have uh, two boys practicing. So let me have two girls so I can listen to your pronunciation, okay? Let me see um, if I have Ivania right there and Lupita. Okay, miss. Okay, Ivania, you're going to start. And okay. Lupita, she's going to continue with Lily, okay? Okay. Go, please. I'm so... I'm so excited. We have two weeks off. What are you going to do? Voy yo. Yeah, please. Uh, I'm not sure. I guess you'll just stay home. Maybe I'll hang out with some friends and watch my favorite series. What about you? Any plans? Okay. Yeah. I'm going to relax at the beach with my cousin. We're going to go surfing every day. And my, co my cousin likes to snorkel. So maybe we'll go snorkeling one day. Oh, life hunt. Hey, why don't you come with us? Do you mean it? I'd love to. I'll bring my server. That's great. The more the merrier. The more the merrier, excellent. Okay, you know, um, once again, how do we say this one, uh, Lupita? Only this one. How do we pronounce this one? ¿Cómo se lee esa? Ay. Ay, muy bien. Entonces, si le agregamos la forma corta, sería. Ay. Ay, muy bien. Entonces, acuérdense. Ay, ay. Yo escuché il. Il, saben que sí existe también. I am feeling ill. Es enfermedad. Entonces, para no confundir pronunciación. In este caso sería I'll. That is the short form of I and will. Ill viene de illnesses. Ill. Me siento enfermo. Okay, para que no se escuche algo más. So I'll. Muy buena pronunciación eh, de las formas cortas. Ivania. We and are. We're. Otra vez. We and are. Veía ahí otra forma corta. We. Plus go. It's another one. Y la otra forma corta. I guess that's the only one. So please. Everybody, let's repeat. I'll. 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 This is we. And then we have are. We are, we are, we are, we are, this is we plus will, we'll, we'll, 
Will. Ajá, will. Suena como eso también. Will. Will go. So please, para no confundir entonces, la forma corta de we, will, con solo el auxiliar will, tenemos que hacer, asegurarnos de que suena. Will, will, will. Es como un poco más larga la pronunciation, ¿ok? And that's it. So, what are your plans? Esa va a ser la última actividad, right? But I was mentioning at the beginning of the class that I was checking the platform. And yes, only two or three girls, I guess, they are still missing like one or two parts of the final exam. But that's all right. We are going to complete those activities today. So, as you may see, we are going to make the final review uh, based on the topics that we were covering, you know, in this course. This is a listening practice. I don't know if you had the chance to listen to this audio. What is this audio about? As you may remember, like one of the first topics that we were discussing, it was about giving opinions about places, in this case, houses and apartments. And we were making use of some adjectives. ¿Se acuerdan que cuando dábamos opinión? ¿Cómo se llamaba ese tema? Cuando doy una opinión de un apartment or a house, tenía un nombre en específico. Go and look, please. Comparison. Uh, comparisons. Comparison. But there's another, another topic based on this one. No solo habían comparisons. ¿Se acuerdan cómo se llamaba? Cuando quiero dar una opinión de un lugar. It's not only comparisons. Not really, you don't remember? So let me go back and look for this information. Creo que fue de los primeros temas que vimos. Okay, here we go. We had comparisons and evaluations. Ese era el tema, ¿eh? evaluations. Y para hacer evaluations, usábamos dos palabras. Enough, si se acuerdan, is not big enough. It's too small. Enough and too. Eso se ocupa para hacer evaluations. So in this case, yes, these people is giving an opinion about the places in which they live. So let's listen, and then we are going to take uh, just the correct answers from the listening. Veamos como nos va. Okay, here we go. Okay, let's listen. Units three to four quiz. Part A. Listen to the conversations. Check the correct answers. Here we go. One. I just love my new apartment. That's great, Jen. What do you like about it? Everything. First of all, it's not as noisy as my old apartment. Yeah, it was pretty noisy. And another thing, it has two bathrooms. My family visits me often, so it'll be more convenient. That's good. And what's the rent like? That's what I like the most. It's not as expensive as my old apartment. I can finally start saving some money. Okay, so what is she expressing about her new apartment? Because she is saying that she loves, she really likes this apartment. She was mentioning three evaluations about this place. ¿Qué pudieron comprender? ¿Por qué le gusta tanto este new apartment? ¿Y por qué el otro no le gusta tanto? Did you get what she was expressing? Because probably, yo sé que ya saben la respuesta, pero ¿por qué le gusta? Why does she like her new apartment? ¿Cómo sienten los listening? Difícil de entender, easy to understand and to get the main idea. How do you feel it? Okay, let me help you out. Escuchemos otra vez.
Units 3 to 4 quiz. Part A. Okay, listen. Listen to the conversations. Check the correct answers. 1. I just love my new apartment. That's great, Jen. What do you like about it? Everything. So, what do you like? What do you like about it? What do you like about your new apartment? ¿Qué respondió? ¿Cuál fue su respuesta? Yes, Gaby? Did you get? What do you like about it? What did she say? Can you repeat again, teacher? Muy bien. Veo que los listening les están costando. Units 3 to 4 quiz. Here we go. Part A. Listen to the conversations. Check the correct answers. 1. I just love my new apartment. That's great, Jen. What do you like about it? Everything. What do you like about it? Who got it? Everything. What do you like about it? Everything. First of all, it's not as noisy as my old apartment. First of all, antes que nada o primero, is not as noisy as my previous or older apartment. It's not as noisy. Thank you, noisy. Do you remember what is the meaning of this adjective? Noisy. It's not as noisy as. Ruidos. 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 My primera mm -hmm. cosa que le gusta. Let's continue. Yeah, it was pretty noisy. And another thing, it has two bathrooms. And another thing, it has two, two bathrooms. bathrooms or bedrooms? Bathrooms. Bathrooms, wow. My family visits me often, so it'll be more convenient. My family visits me often. ¿Qué tan seguido la visitan? Often. That's good. Open. And what's the rent like? That's what I like the most. And what is the rent like? What is the rent like? Most. It's not as expensive as my old apartment. I... Mm -hmm. It's not as expensive as my old apartment. So, ¿qué le gusta de su nuevo apartamento? It has two bedrooms. There's too much noise. It's cheaper. It's cheaper, right? Porque todo esto es lo contrario. It's not noisy. It doesn't have two bedrooms. It has two bathrooms. Ahí está. Veamos a Seth. Wants to live downtown. ¿Por qué quiere vivir downtown? Aquí vamos. Here we go. You can finally start saving some money. Okay. Two. I was late to work again today. I was late for work or to work again. There's just too much traffic. Mm -hmm. I know. And then there are never enough parking spaces. <laughs> okay. What is he complaining about? Se está quejando ahorita de too much traffic. There are no parking spaces. Whenever he gets to work, there are no parking spaces. Exactly. I can never find a place to park my car. Mm -hmm. He can never find a place to park, okay? Here we go. So, what is he complaining about right now? ¿De qué se está quejando? ¿O por qué quiere vivir downtown? Because it's... Menos costoso. Menos. Uh -huh. And how do you say that in English? <laughs> Como dicen, menos costoso. So, Seth, why don't you move downtown? Yeah, Ahí está, you look. Uh -huh. You'd live near your office. I'd like to. The problem is, I really can't afford to live downtown. It's there we go. He wants to live downtown, you know, because no porque sea menos caro, no, al contrario, es más caro. No porque hay más parking spaces, not really, pero ¿por qué quiere vivir ahí? He works there. Because he works there. Ese es el problema principal. O sea, aunque él llegue tarde, no encuentra parqueo. ¿Por qué? Por llegar tarde. ¿Ok? Entonces se eh, resolvería este problema. 
Porque si vive cerca, incluso tal vez no necesita manejar. Even though it is expensive. It's very expensive to live downtown. Okay, let's listen about Karen. ¿Qué será que le pasa a Karen? Here we go. It's too expensive. But at least you could save some money by walking to work. Yes. Three. I wish I could find a new apartment. I'm ready for a change. What? Okay, I wish I could find a new apartment. I am ready for a change. She really wishes she could find a new apartment. Hi, Karen. What's wrong with the place you're living now? Mm -hmm. Well, it's dingy and cramped. What's wrong? ¿Qué pasa con el apartamento en el que vive ahorita? Ahí dio la respuesta ya. It's... It's dangerous. Oh. Ah, no dijo dangerous. ¿Será que dijo dangerous? No, usó otro, otro eh, eh, adjetivo. No, it's, de, it's not dangerous. Dingy. No, dingy and... ¿Qué más dijo? Dingy and... ¿Se acuerdan el adjetivo para referirnos a que es muy, muy angosto? Muy chiquito todo. It's dingy es and... No, no nos recordamos de ese nuevo vocabulario. Cramped. cramped. Dingy and cramped. Ok, tenemos tres opciones. Too small, too spacious and too private. ¿Cuál creen que sería la opción correcta? Too small. Exactly. The place in which she is living right now, it's too small. That's why she really wishes she could move to a different place. Ok, terminamos de escucharlo, pero ahí está la respuesta. Here we go. I don't know why I rented it in the first place. I mean... It's very safe and private. I just wish it weren't so small. What kind of place are you looking for exactly? Some place that's more spacious, but not too expensive. Good luck. Okay, here Four. we go with the last one. So, Doug, how do you like your new apartment? I. How do you like your new apartment? ¿Te gusta tu nuevo apartamento? How do you like it? How do you like your new apartment? Love it. It's great. I love it. What do you like about it? Do you remember how dark my old apartment was? Do you remember how dark my old apartment was? Yeah, it was kind of depressing. Well, my new apartment is on the top floor, so it's nice and bright. Is there anything you don't like? Some of the apartments on the first floor have a small garden. And I'd like to grow flowers or maybe a few vegetables. So I kind of wish I lived on the first floor. I guess you can't have everything. Okay, ¿cuál es el problema? Okay, sí le gusta su nuevo apartamento. Pero hay algo que quisiera cambiar. What is it? He wishes, yes? Which one again? What was that again? The floor, the floor. The floor, right? ¿En dónde queda su apartamento ahorita? Where is it? Which floor? Mencionó en qué, en qué piso está su, su apartamento ahorita. Dijo top, top floor. No sabemos en sí la cantidad exacta de eh, pisos que tiene, pero dijo pero el top, top floor. El top, top. Is, es el is último, the, right? Es el último. So he is planning or he would really like um, to have some flowers because he really loves gardening. Por eso quisiera vivir en el first floor. Y al final le dice, eh, en la está escuchando, you cannot have everything. No se puede tener todo. So, ahí están. There we go. Vocabulary. As you may remember, we were... Um, Making like opinions, evaluations using adjectives. Veamos qué se acuerdan o qué tanto se acuerdan de los adjetivos. Creo que estos sí son reconocidos, ¿verdad? So, look at this, what we have here. Um, and let me have some of you completing them. Alberto, number one. Josué se va con la dos. Y Gaby, número tres. Okay? One, two, and three. Go, Alberto. Read and tell me the correct uh, answer. Choose the correct answer. Okay. 
Este, uy, me sacó este volado. Ah, no, yo soy. Hola, okay. hola. Hola, okay, teacher, yeah. sorry. I don't... No, don't worry, sí. don't worry. <laughs> ah, ok. Eh, can you... Es que mm, no lo escuchaba bien. Just Porque... read. Read and tell me the correct option. It's very safe. Ok, I love my neighborhood. Será que I love safe? my neighborhood. ¿Por qué no it's dangerous very... and why not inconvenient? ¿Por qué creen que no? Because it's dislike. Ah, ok. Acuérdense, tenemos un grupo de adjetivos eh, para dar buenas referencias. So good opinions, right? En este caso, dangerous and inconvenient. No estaría diciendo, I love my neighborhood, right? Muy buena respuesta. Next one. Number two. Who was it? Josué, right? Hello, teacher. Hello, Josué. Um... I live on a very um, boys street. Um, hey, don't worry. Can... Busy. 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 Busy Muy street. Bien. Uh -huh. It can get a little bite. Uh -huh. uh, bite noise. Ah, muy bien. Miren la primera idea. I live on a very busy street. ¿A qué se refiere cuando dice very busy? En una calle muy eh, como muy transitada. Ah, ok. Puede referirse a, a personas. Um, and also cars, buses, or those type of transportation. Así que, it can be a little bit. Puede convertirse en un poco que sería noisy, modern, or spacious. Um... Un poco ruidoso. Ruidoso. Entonces, noisy. Mm -hmm. That's the one. Very good job. Gaby, go ahead. Excellent, Josué. It's convenient to have parking space in near my apartment. Right. Why not comfortable and dingy? Mm. Why not? This one. Because, I don't know, teacher. Because I don't know, teacher. Muy bien. Dingy no tiene yes. nada que ver. Estamos yes. hablando de parking spaces, spaces near my apartment, cerca de mi apartamento. So, what is dingy? ¿Se acuerda, Gaby? What is this? Lo acabamos I de ver en el... Remember. ¿Qué es dingy? Who can remember about this one? What is the meaning of dingy? Es sucio. Ok. Sucio. Y este comfortable. Sucio. Como desarreglado sería. Y este muy cómodo. Mm. Sí podría ser cómodo, pero no. Más que todo es convenient. Accesible a lo que yo necesito. La número cuatro, veamos. Number four. Samuel, go ahead, please. Ok, Samuel is not there. Edenilson. De Edenilson, go ahead, please. Hello, teacher. Hello. Our house is modern and very, and very bright. Yeah. It has huge windows. Huge. Okay. Huge. What is this? Why not cramped? Why not private? ¿Por qué no usamos cramped or private? Huge es más grande. Ah, ok. Aquí no está la idea. Es muy, muy iluminado. Entonces, me hace referencia a que son grandes. Right. Cramped no tendría que ver con la idea y privado. No me está hablando de eso. Me está hablando de la iluminación. That's right. Excellent job. Enough. And not enough. Seguimos con las evaluaciones. En las comparisons. Right. ¿Qué opinamos de este apartamento? Take a look at this one. Me piden utilizar not enough. Lorena, how do we complete this one? Read and tell me the correct choice. Hello, teacher. Hi, Lorena. Um, vamos a ver. Our apartment is too small. 
Yeah. There are um, not in our rooms. Which one? The third one. This one. Uh, this one. For the one, two, or three. Which is the correct one? Um, three. Three. Okay. Why? Not in our rooms. Not enough room. Acuérdense que suena como F. Enough. Not enough. Not enough rooms. Muy bien. Acuérdense, no suficiente. Primero me da una idea. Eso es como un complemento. Mi apartamento es muy pequeño. ¿Qué significa? That there are not enough rooms. Ok, number two. Okay. Excelente, Lorena. Gracias. Rita and then Janira. Go, please. Rita, number two is for you. Rita, Rita, me copia. Hola, hola. <laughs> number two. Yeah, this one. Where were hey, you? Deep. ¿Dónde estaba Rita? Uh -huh. <laughs> Eden Nilsson, este, habla mucho. <laughs> okay, lo vamos a sentar yeah. separados a los dos. <laughs> uh, okay, go please. People can sit into our house. There uh -huh. is uh, not enough pri privacy. 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 Which one? The first one or this one? The second one. Uh, second. Second one. Okay. Second oh, one. Yes. ¿Saben qué significa esto? See into. People can see into. ¿Qué significa eso? What is that? People can see into our house. Pueden ver. Eh, de, no, pueden no, ver dentro que, de nuestra casa. Dentro, ah, de ver, el, muy bien. Fíjense que esa es otra eh, preposición. Into. Entonces, el orden correcto siempre va a ser enough y luego le sigue un ¿Qué es? ¿Nombre o adjetivo? What is privacy? ¿Es a noun or an adjective? ¿Qué era privacy? ¿Es this an adjective? ¿Es this a noun? What is that? Privacy. Adjective. Not really. Es un Not nombre. Really. Privacidad. Entonces es un nombre. ¿Cuál sería el adjetivo entonces? Private. Privado. Privacy es el nombre. Privado es el adjetivo. Aquí también space. Eso sería el nombre. ¿Cuál sería el adjetivo? Spacious. Gran. Ok. There we go. And let's have the last one. Janira, right? Yes, Janira. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Uh, my car is too small. It doesn't have enough space. It doesn't have enough space. Pero, ¿y por qué no esta, Yanira? La número uno. Why not this one? Uh, because um, uh, so it doesn't. What was that again? <laughs> Porque le, ya tiene it doesn't. So ya tiene que no. O okay, sea, it already negativa. have. Uh -huh. There we go. Excellent. It already have a negative expression. No podemos tener mm -hmm. dos negativos en una sola oración. Muy bien. Muy buena respuesta. Me encanta. So this is the one. Enough space. Estamos. Muy bien. Muy buena respuesta. As many as much. Seguimos con las comparaciones. Ok. Las evaluaciones, en este caso, comparamos. Number one, my apartment doesn't have, no tiene, dice, mi apartamento no tiene. Jorge, y luego Carlos. Carlos, no la número dos. Go, please, Jorge. My apartment. Jorge, go ahead, please, with number one. And Carlos, with number two. My apartment doesn't have my uh, my apartment doesn't have as many windows as my old one okay this one why not this one why not because 
is comparison. And how do uh, we compare? How compar do we make a com compar comparison? Comparison. Uh -huh. As it many window as. There my. we go. As and as. And as. Excellent. Muy buena respuesta. Me encantó. Carlos. I don't know. I guess he's in a cold, right? What is he doing? I cannot see. He's chatting, I guess. Okay. If not, let me have Gabby again. Number two. Making comparisons, remember. Our house is as convenient as your apartment. Which one? One, two, or three? Um, two. Why two? Mm, because it's a comparison. Ah, because it's a comparison. How do we make comparisons? Using? As in. As in as. In, uh, in as. Muy bien. Gustavo, go ahead, please. This is for you. Mother apartment of yeah. men don't have as much space as other ones. Okay, why? Why this one? It's comparison. And how do we compare? Uh, uh, but apartment. Uh, uh -huh. We compare using this expression, as and as. Okay, muy bien, así es la respuesta, excelente. Next one, expressing wishes. ¿Cómo expresábamos deseos? ¿Se acuerdan qué tipo de deseos expresábamos? Deseos que deseamos que pasen cuando? In the past, in the future, or when? ¿Qué aprendimos? ¿Qué tipo de expresiones usábamos? What type of wishes were we using? Deseo que in the future. future. Not really in the present. Cosas que deseamos que pasen ahorita. Porque si ya decías eh, serían en el pasado, ya no son deseos, que son regrets. Estoy lamentando de que no pasó. Y tengo también deseos para el futuro. ¿Y qué estructura usábamos para el presente? Making wishes in the present. ¿O qué tipo de verbos usábamos? Who can tell me? El which. Ok, wish, el verbo wish, of course. ¿Y qué otro verbo? Was and where. Was and where, me gusta. ¿Qué más? Was, ver, in, for base. In, in the base form, ok. Base form. Can you give me one example? Who can make a wish right now? What is Carlos doing right there? <laughs> He's like fighting, right? No? It's probably. <laughs> He's probably fighting. No lo va a participar, teacher, ahorita. Está peleando. Carlos. Llámele, llámele. Ya, Cohen, llámele, llámele. Carlos, what are, why are you fighting right now? <laughs> okay, mientras responde, wishes in the present. I wish, yo desearía estar en la playa. ¿Cómo decimos eso? I wish, I, where. No olviden eso, deseos en el presente, no vamos a ocupar was. Solo vamos a ocupar el que, Jorge. Where. where. Where only that I wish I were. You I wish, wish you were. The wish. Exactly. They wish they were. Solo usamos were porque son deseos que deseamos que pasen en el presente, no en el futuro. That's why. Si se fijan, estamos evaluando todo lo que aprendimos. Es por eso que acá vienen las expresiones usando wishes. I don't like my new job. No me gusta mi trabajo. Oh, mi trabajo, mi nuevo trabajo. ¿Cuál es mi deseo y cómo lo expreso? He's not replying, right? 
Oh, oh, okay, I don't like my new job. I wish it, it were. I wish my phone. Or I wish it was. I Demos la respuesta. It were more fun. Okay, aquí está. ¿Por qué? The first one. Okay, acuérdense. I wish. Luego de wish necesito un sujeto. Y it. where. No puede ser esta. This is not correct. Second one, I can't find my new cell phone. ¿Cuál es mi deseo entonces? No encuentro mis teléfonos. I wish. I, could I wish find I can't. It. Not really. Miren el verbo. El verbo tiene que estar en pasado. ¿Cuál es el pasado de cool? Well, what is the base form of cool? Can. What is the past? Cool. Right, Carlos? Okay. Yes or no, Carlos? Um, no, yes, right? No. Yes, 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 I can. Yes, what? Sí, por, por qué sí. In the, the phrase? Uh -huh. <laughs> what the, are you doing, Carlos? The other bear is fine in prison. ¿Qué estabas haciendo, dice la teacher? Why were you fighting? Como que estaba peleando, Carlos. Para yo estaba estoy... peleando. No. ¿No? no. I told I told with my boss. Oh, really? You were practicing yes. your English then? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, Carlos. Okay, sí, vamos. Yes. Let's make it participate. Ya que lo tenemos acá. Number two. Which is the correct one? For me is I call find it. Why cool and not can? Uh, I can find it. I... <laughs> Vaya, Carlos, estamos viendo que expressing wishes, wishes, mm -hmm. wishes. ¿En qué tiene que ir el verbo en pasado o en presente? Uh... I remember the uh -huh. class is a verb in present. No puedo encontrar mi teléfono. Desearía. Encontrarlo. Encontrarlo. Poder encontrarlo. Bueno. I wish I could. Siempre el verbo va a ir en pasado. Ajá. Ok, en el presente. Entonces, basado en eso, la número tres. My girlfriend, my girlfriend. Okay, good. your girlfriend is in good shape. <laughs> What is your name? He was in good shape. <laughs> okay, can Carole, you read that again? Carlos, es, Carlos, my yes, boyfriend. Not girlfriend. Say. <laughs> How do you say machismo? <laughs> It's not machismo. <laughs> The problem is is the Dakotran because all people <laughs> come from the expression. In, all good person. In all good person. <laughs> all Dakotran. Okay, you can complain, but in English, you know? Excellent. I really like that you're complaining in English. Just read it, okay? Read it as it is. My boyfriend isn't. In good, good shape. shape. So I what wish is your wish? He was in good shape. Okay, was or where? Um, we already explained where, that one. Where, Why where and not was? There are people? Okay, let me help you out. Because we are just going to use where. No importa el sujeto, siempre ocupamos where. Porque son deseos para el presente. Si fuese un deseo para el futuro, ya puedo usar esto. Ah, I okay. wish he was in good shape. Okay. Okay, nos vamos a casar en un año. Ah, I wish he was. Desearía que para esa época 
que esté o estuviese en buena forma. Desearía que él esté en buena forma. Esa es la diferencia. Ok, vamos. Simple past and the present perfect. Simple past, obviously. We are going to use the verb in the simple past form. Pero con el present perfect, ¿qué tipo de verbos ocupo? In the simple past? Or what structure are we going to use? Rita, para el presente perfecto, ¿qué ocupamos? ¿Qué tipo de verbos? In the present, in the past. Particip Once again. Past participle. The past participle. Uh -huh. Okay, past participle. So, let's see. Veamos qué tenemos acá. Un auxiliar, el auxiliar have. ¿Qué estructura lleva el auxiliar have? The simple past or the present perfect? Present perfect. Present perfect. The present perfect. ¿Qué auxiliar lleva el simple past? Did. Did. Muy bien. Ambos llevan auxiliares, acuérdense. Así pueden identificar la estructura. So, have you ever eat, eats, or eaten? A, B, or C class. Have you ever eat, eats, or eaten? Eaten. Eaten. Have you ever eaten Spanish food? Comida española. Have you ever eaten, eaten Spanish food? ¿Cuál es el pasado entonces de eat? Simple past. Alberto, what is the simple past of eat? It ate eaten. Excellent. Muy bien. Voy a preguntar a ver si han repasado. Esa es la continuación. Have you ever eaten or eaten Spanish food? Ah, oh, yeah. Yes, I have. I to a Spanish restaurant last week. Fui a un restaurante español la semana pasada. Let me see, Janira. ¿Qué usaríamos acá? Simple past or the past or the present perfect, I'm sorry. Me dije. Is eh is uh went yes i have i to a spanish restaurant last week why went por qué went ah uh, it's simple past ah because it's simple past Aquí termina mi expresión con el presente perfecto. Yes, I have. Mm -hmm. Luego inicio I una went, nueva oración. I went to I a went. Spanish restaurant last week. Ok, Yanira, what is the present of went? Or what is the base form of uh, went? Is go. Go, muy bien. ¿Y cuál es el past participle? Got. Um, ¿Quién sabe si es got? Passport yeah. is uh, gone. Gone. Muy bien. Gone. 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 Got es del verbo get. En este caso es go. Go. Okay, muy bien. Lorena. Continuemos, Lorena. No sé por qué adivino. Really? <laughs> ok, estamos conectadas. <laughs> Did you? ¿Qué? Seguimos hablando del Spanish ¿Qué? restaurant. Fui a un restaurante español la semana pasada. ¿Qué le estaba preguntando? Si te gustó. I did you like. Did you like, it? like it? ¿Y por qué no liked? And why not likes? Um, Por el auxiliar. Muy bien. Perfectísimo. Tengo un auxiliar. No me permite que el verbo cambie, se conjugue. Did you like it? There we go. Terminamos la idea, Lorena. Did you like it? Uh, yes. Uh, sería yes. It was delicious. It was delicious. Pero también puedo decir it, it were awful. ¿O no? ¿Por qué no puedo decir eso? Why not? 
El guas es como el pasado, ¿verdad? Estuvo delicioso. Oh, okay. ¿será que... ¿Se acuerdan de eso? Subject and verb agreement. Tiene que compaginar el sujeto con el verbo. Entonces, mi sujeto es it. Es it. La forma correcta Correcto. del It's... verbo to be en pasado sería was. was. Por eso es que no was. puede ser. Uh -huh. Así debemos de justificar. Muy bien, okay. excelente. Okay. Vamos muy bien. Veo que recuerdan las reglas gramaticales. Easy. The future we will and be going to. Esto lo hemos repasado muchísimo. Mucho, mucho, mucho. Le pregunta ahora a Samuel, a Josué y a Edenilson. Get ready, guys. Samuel, number one, Josué la dos y Edenil son la tres. Vamos, in that order. And to end, I'm... What? What? Are you going to do? Mm -hmm. Okay, but finish the idea. Excellent. What are you going to do? After class today. After class today. Muy bien. Recuerden, necesitamos una WH word. Verbo to be, sujeto, verbo con ING. Es como la estructura. Muy bien. Siguiente. Did I say Josué, right? I guess Josué. Go ahead, please. I'm the final De Definitely, uh, definitely. I'm definitely and uh -huh. going going to watch a movie with a uh, with a friend. With a friend. Okay, going to or will? I'm definitely. Estoy muy seguro. Definitivamente, dice. I'm definitely going to. Going to. ¿Por qué clase o por qué Samuel? Going to. ¿Por qué no puedo decir I'm definitely, definitely will watch a movie with a friend? Mm. Acuérdense las razones. ¿Es seguro de que sí va a ver la película o no? Yes. Sí, yes. entonces. Yes. Si estoy seguro que voy a ocupar. Will. Will are going to. Going to. Going to. Going to. Going to. Clase, ya se les olvidó. Going to. Muy bien. Went. ¿Y este cómo sería? When will they take their vacation? When will. But I don't have that option. I just have they take. I have are going to take and I have are they going to take. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't have will. <laughs> when are they going to take their vacation? Okay, this is the correct one. Excellent. <laughs> Let me have Ivania for this one. Number four. Okay. I think they will go on a cruise. How do you say? Cruise. Yes, cruise. Yeah, that's okay. In June or July? Or July. Why? Because the person right? is not sure. Exactly. Because we have this expression, I think. Mm -hmm. So probably they will go. So we'll go. This is the correct one. Excelente. Estamos muy bien con las estructuras. Y el último ejercicio. Aquí vamos. This is a reading comprehension. Uh, but are you willing to read this? ¿Quién leyó este artículo? I did, you know. ¿Y de qué me hablaba? Who can remember about this one? ¿De qué hablaba mi artículo? ¿O no lo leyeron? Did you read it? De Tailandia. Exactly. It was talking about Thailand. Greetings from Bangkok. Hablaba de eh, lugares para ir a comprar. Shopping places. Ah, aquí está, miren. It was expressing about places for shopping. So who got it? What time is it? We have like two minutes. Hagamos un scanning. No vamos a leer todo por el tiempo. Vamos a scan, scanning. 
Si se fijan, dice Bangkok is a good place for shopping. Is that true or false? ¿Será que es verdadero o falso? Es un buen lugar para ir de compras. ¿En qué párrafo encuentro esa información? En the it's a great city for shopping. Mm -hmm. In Here the we have first. it. It's a great city for shopping. Y me está hablando de este lugar. Great job. Así de fácil, no necesito leer todo. True. You can buy most things except clothes in the market. Todo encuentro menos ropa. Sigue hablando de qué mercado? De Bangkok. Is that true or false? Look, it was well, full really, of really interesting things to buy. To buy especially clothes. <coughs> Me está diciendo lo contrario. Especialmente ropa. O sea, solo había ropa. Entonces, this is... No, falso. Es false. Aquí me dice lo contrario. Puedes comprar todo excepto, except clothes. Mi lectura dice lo contrario. Mm. Había mucha ropa. So, this is not mm. true. This is false. The prices in the market are very reasonable. ¿Qué dice de los precios? Are they expensive or reasonable? Um, the price And the prices are, are... Are great. Great. ¿Qué me quiere decir con the prices are great? Aceptables. Uh -huh. Son buenos. Que so, son reasonable, buenos. great. Yeah, those are synonyms. Fantástico, fabulosos. Yes. Fables. Como si van al shopping center. No, es bien caro el shopping center. Mentira. Así que no. Me. Microv is the Thai name for green curry. Ah, está hablando de comida. ¿Cómo le llaman al green? Which one? ¿Qué párrafo está esa información? Let me see. We had a wonderful dinner. Por aquí anda la respuesta. Fernando order green curry and rice. Y dice, and I have my favorite dish. Mi crop. Aquí es el platillo. ¿De qué se trata ese plato? Crispy noodles with shrimp and chicken. Entonces, ¿será correcta esta información? This is not It's true, false. right? This is false. They are referring to noodles. All foreign visitors love Thailand's hot and spicy food. Todo, dice, todos los visitantes extranjeros aman su comida picante. Look, aquí dice, foreigners. So, aquí está la respuesta. One thing I have noticed, algo que noté, es que algunos restaurantes, is that some restaurants make their curries less. Spicy. Las hacen menos picantes para quién? Para sus Pero foreigners. No ¿Qué es un foreigner? What is a foreigner? Extranjero. extranjero. Para extranjero. Entonces, ¿qué significa esto? Do Pero they love it or not? Lo más abajo la confirmación. Ok. Let's Some continue reading them. Don't like is basic. Mm -hmm. So, some. Pero dice some. Don't like. Some don't like. Algunos no les gusta. Y acá nos dice to a todos les gusta. It's false. So this is not true. This is false. Let me check. And that's it. Bien, clase. Hemos hecho un muy buen repaso. Veo que recuerdan las estructuras, vocabulario. Lo que sí, les motivo que practiquen es los adjetivos para hacer evaluations and comparisons. Se les olvidaron unos cuantos. Please, practice um, the present perfect. Creo que esa estructura nos hace falta un poquito más de practicar. Y qué otra cosa. Y la pronunciación de formas cortas. I will, I will go, y cosas así, ¿ok? Sería mi recomendación para ustedes. Please, practice that. Questions or comments right now. We are going to stop the class here. Preguntas, comentarios sobre el módulo.
sobre los temas que vimos? Ha sido más gramática. Más gra Hoy sí vino mucha gramática en este, en este y módulo. Y listen bastante. Sí, listening. También necesitamos practicar listening. Se me están quedando en el listening. Más que todo agarrar la idea principal. O no les digo entiendan todo. No. Idea principal. Please. Practiquemos listening. Listening, please. Hay muchas formas de practicar en YouTube. Practíquenlas. Les voy a compartir, como les dije, el PDF con todos los temas para que vuelvan a repasar el contenido del módulo. ¿Ok? Y no estoy segura de las nuevas fechas de inicio, así que estemos pendientes para que se nos notifique. ¿Ok, class? Thank you. Gracias, muchos. Muchas gracias por su apoyo y por su participación. Espero que hayamos aprendido algo nuevo en este módulo. ¿Ok? Yes, teacher. Gracias, gracias. Por la paciencia. No. Thank you very much. La paciencia Thank you so much, es lo que más me sobra. Así que gracias a ustedes, en serio. Y nos vemos Bye, teacher. pronto. Espero Bye, pronto. teacher. Bye, Bye, teacher. Bye, teacher. Bye, teacher. Bye, Bye, teacher. Bye, bye, bye teacher. Vamos a enseñar. Bye, bye, teacher. Teacher siempre pide el grupo. Siempre que, que sea sí. usted. Vamos a hacer siempre ese esfuerzo. Ok, Por para el grupo. Ok, okay teacher. Bye, Así bye. que nos vemos, chicos. Bye, bye. Take care. Bye, bye, bye teacher. Bye, bye. Bye, bye, teacher.